Okay, this is UbiPort's installer on a Windows 10 device to see if there's any difference. So far, no much joy. The installer does not recognize the Nexus 5, which is connected. So uh, this is UbiPort's installer, 4.9 beta, really very beta. So let's go ahead and select device manually. Nexus 5, select. All right, it's a little faster this time, finally. Install, so again, this is Nexus 5 Hammerhead. Install, I'm going to wipe the user data. There is no user data of any value there, but I'm going to click continue. In the last install, in the uh, Linux version, this I did not get this far, so I'm making tremendous progress so far. Now I have to pause and do all of the <clears throat> the power, etc. So pausing. So the device is now in uh, fast boot mode. Lock state is locked. Secure boot enabled. Uh, and now <clears throat> we go back to the Windows version of UB ports and I'm going to click continue and something I don't know what's happening here and okay I'm going to click unlock and now I've got something over here it says un It says, what does it say? Unlock bootloader. Uh, may void warranty. Yay, I love that part. Um, I guess I navigate with the up. Yeah, okay. Navigate with the up down button. And I'm not quite sure. Power button to continue. Okay, power button to continue. And lock state is unlocked. So we're making progress here. Uh, it says flashing firmware. So <clears throat> uh, this is looking a lot more promising. Now I got a Google message over here. And now I've got an installing update, so that's that's positive. Again, I did not get anywhere near as far with my Ubuntu 19.1 installer, which I tried earlier this morning, and I spent literally an hour fighting with. But it looks like we have we have a little bit more success with this. Installing update. So we're about total of uh, maybe five minutes into this process. Five minutes. Okay, it just flashed over to Google again. And it says it's downloading Ubuntu Touch, which you can see we've got a progress bar here. And we've got the Google pop up here on a Nexus 5. I'm going to pause. Okay, the downloading has stopped, theoretically. Although the progress bar has bottomed out. We're still showing Google over on the Nexus 5. Now it says it's sending files to the device. No message over here as yet.
no progress bar to give any kind of indication of what's going on, so I'm going to pause. Okay, I got a connection lost message uh, saying that the cable maybe is defective. This cable is relatively new. I'll try a different one. Okay, I've, uh, you're, I'm using a different one. It's connected to the device. I click try again. Oh, it's downloading it again? Oh, come on. Yeah, it wants me to reboot again. Okay, I have rebooted and now I'm going to click continue. And it says that's flashing the firmware. Got something flashing over here, downloading, and now I went over to Google again. Preparing, oh, US boots, okay. Uh, but I got a different message now. Um, boot ports recovery. Reboot system now. Reboot to bootloader. Power down. Um, but this one, it says that the connection is lost. So, pause while I go look at what Google has to say about what the next step is supposed to be. This is clearly problem here with UB ports 4.9 beta okay in the video here it shows Ubuntu recovery but there's no actions on the keyboard so I'm not quite sure what if anything was done by the users there doesn't appear to be anything done by the users so I'm just going to try reboot system now actually I'm going to see what Ubuntu actions have um, install Ubuntu pre-installed I don't know it, and this video doesn't tell me what to do uh, it's a, it assumes it all works which is definitely not the case <clears throat> because I'm getting an error message saying that the device, the connection to the device was lost, yet I am definitely connected to the device and the device is doing something. So go back. I'm going to hit reboot system now and see what happens. This is again Ubuntu beta, uh, UB ports installer 4.9 beta, connection to device lost again. I'm rebooting the device. See if anything changes. All right, no joy on that side, and it's asking me to reboot the loader again. Okay, this is like number four. <sighs> Number four, trying again with Ubi Ports installer 4.9 beta. I click continue. It says it's waiting for, it's flashing firmware now. Uh, and it goes to Google, preparing system for installation. And now I've got a new message over here Ubi Ports recovery. Now it says it's checking local files. Theoretically, that means it's checking local files on the device, but that doesn't, the UI doesn't indicate anything like that for me, I'm guessing. Okay, now it says it's sending files to the device. It's already done this before. 